Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're done with everything? Commander? Yeah, we are. Alright. So, what are we gonna do? Well, there's a debris field here, so. Uh, I guess it's another debris field. Or maybe there was more than one. Alright, so. Uh, we could do some plant scanning, but I don't think there's anything to do for plant scanning, so I think I've done everything. Um, so, let's do. Uh, I think the Admiral first. Yeah, if we're gonna save the Admiral then. A dear old Admiral. Well, Talia doesn't have to come with us for this one, fortunately, so. That's nice of the game to do. I mean, probably she would be the per best person to bring along for, like, dialogue reasons, but. Uh, yeah. What do we get if that's new? Oh, the Arc Pistol. Well, whatever. Uh, I, don't, I don't think any of these are the ones that I want. It's all good. Alright, and we're still stuck in uh, perpetual... Oh. We get this. Damage. Yeah, all the damage. Uh, probably slam. Force or impact. Let's do force. More force. And... Nothing, because I don't think I can do anything else, yeah. Why does it feel like he's missing a point? Whatever. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkaris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkaris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They'll be torn to pieces. Naturally, but the civilian captains have deluded themselves into thinking they can reach the mass relay in time. Hopefully Chorus can stop the force from presenting the Geth with such easy targets. The Geth have dug in down there. I might not bring back good news. It was always a possibility. There will be no blame if you come back empty-handed, Commander. I'm getting some static. It appears Elkhorus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact him. Make sure to proceed with caution. Zen? Admiral Zen? Let's hope the wilderness is kinder to this Admiral than the machines. We'll see in a minute. Take us in to the tower. Taking fire. The Geth installed anti aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. But there's no guns. I mean, he tested it, right? Fuck, why does this thing always want to bring this fucking first aid shit? And I, don't know, I guess we're gonna have to do this. Oops, no, I actually want this one. The hell? The animation didn't play, but the sound did. Alright, there we go. I like the beep that this makes when I bring it out. The glorious beep. Jamming towers. Clever. But if we just towed in some asteroids, you'd turn half the planet into a crater. True. Meteors are hard to aim. We got gas. That's my stealth approach. The hell? Sorry, Garrus. Oh god, why am I going out? I mean, this one does work. Valiant and, and Widow are both really nice. What, are you taking all my credits? The Geth probably came over the ridge. Not much of a fight. We need to radio Zalcoris or we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. 
Oh, uh, javelin is something new. I, I don't want to equip it right now. I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. <laughs> is that what that was? I was more I was more obsessed with the javelin that was on the ground. Synthetics patrolling below. That guy suppressors. All right, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. All right, it's taking two shots because they they don't die in one hit. I mean, I'm not sure actually, honestly. I have to compare the value to this. Uh, I don't think we're done, but whatever. Fine, Garrett's get down there. Confirm. Yes, Commander. Drop it again! Oh, he's got that one. I'm not sure which one does more damage. It's comparable, though, which is really weird. But, I set it up now. No, he's poor gas. There, the guns protecting the tower. What I find weird is like my shields remained on, but the other stuff did not. See, why does it look like he has full HP? I, I just, it, it feels weird to me. Looks like the gun has a control panel. Let's take a look. <laughs> One of us has to shut down that AA gun. Jeff, you handy enough with tech to do it? Of course, I'll begin. But I thought he was a soldier. Protect squad man. Oh my god, they do this weird jiggle. I hate their jiggle so much. Alright, I definitely missed that one. Alright. Garrus McCarry me. I can't really compare our damage, honestly, but I'm pretty sure he's doing way more than me. Good. Now let's shut down the two by the tower. See how much damage he's doing this one. A lot. I wish I knew how much damage this guy had. Like, why is it? Oh, I'm, I think I'm getting rid of their shields with the first shot. I just don't know how much HP they have. What is this? Let's just stand on it. That's not suspicious at all. Oh. Something happened to it. Guess tower. Uh, guess parts. Radios are down. You a soldier? 
maintenance. Dorn hatched. I... Uh, uh, I clean ancient parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I thought I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There, there were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Can you tell me where Zalkoris is? Looking for survivors. You can radio the Admiral if you take that jamming tower offline. I know. We'll find him. Please, listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. Let's get to that tower. All right. Side story. I mean, this has the biggest, like, the, the nicest boop when you, when you take out the rifle, but... As I said, I'm not sure about the damage. I'm on the fence about that. Holy shit. Well, definitely dead now. <laughs> well, I thought I was cloaked. Apparently cloaking is just a state of mind. And uh, we should go this way. I, I like this way better. Uh, let me go over here, guys. Fuck. Like, is it just me, or does the first shot of this rifle not do damage? I, that's the way I feel about it. Like, he, he's more just pissed off the first time I shoot him. I, I just think it's th something's off right now. What the hell? Why does he like me so much? And I, that one was like a one shot. We should inspect the gun. Who should destroy the gun? Can you handle it, Javik? Easily. You should take the get turret. No. I know it wants me to do turret sections really badly. Uh, these ones I'm one-shotting now. Fuck, really? Oh my god, it fired at me. How dare it. So now it's got full armor. Only there's some turret that I could take to, that would make this easier. Oh, he really does take a couple of hits to destroy. This is pyro pieces are coming at me. Ah, oh, he's gone now. I guess that's it. Who do you 
one on this gun, Jeff. Can you handle it, Javi? Easily. We need Gar Garrus to carry us, to be honest. Oh, guys, look at the turret. Garrus for carry fun. Go. Who's the one doing the, the drone? Garrus doesn't give a fuck. Well, apparently he does give a fuck now, though. <laughs> End it. Come on. Get up. Yeah, fuck this guy. Damn it. They got his offline. They kept going after Javik, so I'll like whatever. Coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. So your ship goes down and you give up? Your people are fighting for their lives up there. My people are down here. The entire civilian fleet's depending on you. Who's gonna look out for them? Admiral Garrel? Zen? I cannot abandon my crew. We save dozens now or millions later. Your decision, Admiral. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Oh my god, it just forces me to do it. Dude, there's like three turret sections back to back. I've got this. I can't even get off this thing. This is uh this is Garrus Simulator, by the way. Death behind you! Get in cover! Wow, I'm having a blast right now, guys. This game actually had pretty good shooter mechanics up until like this kind of shit happened. Clear, go. Admiral, come on. Welcome aboard. Shepard, my crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello, this is Zelt Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I returned. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. 
If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why I needed you to come back? Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The part Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Yeah, fuck that guy. Ah. Uh, I have the Admiral. Yeah, so I'm supposed to save him no matter what, and also if it isn't abundantly clear, yeah, I'm siding with the Geth, sort of. I mean, quite honestly, there is, uh, I'll talk more about it later, but yeah, I like the Geth. Geth did nothing wrong. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. But she was just doing, like, computer shit over here. Whatever. Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Why does she always give me the pass? Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Chorus is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? Nothing. Let's just get out. Uh, just like, the quarries are kind of jerks, so they could all die. Oh, these two chatterboxes aren't saying anything. 
Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Admiral Corix has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander? My cousin Dorn. Uh. Whatever. I'm Bray. He's just settling down on Omega. Now there's at least one Baturin here that doesn't want you dead. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna just talk to literally everybody, because that's usually how this goes. This is the biggest waste of time that this game has, honestly. Man, watching the Geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stunt flyers in formation. Creepy stunt flyers. Whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep us safe from the Geth. And themselves. Commander? What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce- Uh-oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Hello, Shepard. She really likes those AI jokes. Piece of shit. Alright. Two more decks to go. Or three, no, two. We don't have to go to number one, we don't have to go to number five. Nothing on five. Imagine how long, much longer the game would take if I went to number five. Heard about what happened down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Wow. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? I mean, Ashley's kind of amusing. She's a specter and she's talking about good leaders. That's just what you're supposed to be. Nothing to report. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. Let us simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Why do they? Why do they always have these fights that I, I, I only I can solve? Every time. Where's Gear Ass? Oh wait, I didn't talk to Javik about the mission. Fuck. We gotta go back. Time wasted. Holy shit. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed. The. ED machine <laughs> is made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. I agree with him on that. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. I would prefer to be alone. 
Oh, uh, I can't. I can't do spamming. Nothing to report. Well, why is it like normal if like Javik goes into there? Just saying. Nothing to say about what just happened? Later. 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 Okay. Garrus' bro family. There is new information on the private... Not the Caden terminal. terminal. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. All right. Why, like, why did Java come over here just to like fight with the AI core? I'd be suspicious, because he wanted me to eject Legion out of the airlock. So it's like you know, instant suspicion. Is there any point of talking to uh, these three anymore? Kenneth, do you ever think I guess about so. when we were abducted by? No, I don't. Me neither. <laughs> Those FBA couplings you got last tour are still holding up. Thanks again, Commander. Nothing to report. Nothing to report, Commander. All right, I'll. I guess I'll have conversations when I come in, but no one actually tell me anything. I'll still click them though. All right. Well, since Javik isn't there, let's head back here. Actually, no. There's one more thing I want to do. I know. I always love the M35. Yeah, we we don't care. All right. Um. First off. Oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's Which made one of is tissue paper. the new one I got? Oh, Jab one, right? I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. We have to no try that. Whatsoever. More like a bull. This has very climb, low capacity, though. For days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or stick. No speed. Mantis. No lateral movement. Where's the, uh, where's, but where's the one I used before, sorry. You want that? Why don't you Valiant. Just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? The Valiant has I basically the same amount of damage. <laughs> you would what? You want to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> Alright, and no weight, so there's no power, like, What's penalty. So That's actually so dumb. Like, why not use the Valiant? Like, just saying. That's what I was curious about, because uh, it, it didn't feel like it was that much of a damage upgrade, and do you know why? It's because it wasn't. Whereas, um, yeah, whatever, fuck it, Galaxy Map, let's uh, do this next time, but 